So we're uh, sl slowly working our way into the focal area. This is sort of drawn in or outlined. My uh, it's going to be a the, the bottom of a big old tree trunk and a bit of a root ball there as driftwood washed into this little crevasse or ravine. I don't know that the cable stay. Probably not. I mean, it might be a bit of an undercut. Uh, that's about it, though. But uh, something I wanted to show you, though, and I'm not going to call this a mistake because it's really not. I saw it coming, but at the same time, I thought, ah, I'll deal with it later. This reminds me of an Escher drawing. Um, mathematical incongruities, almost. Because we have this foreground mass here of, of rock, and, and stepping one step back, we have this sort of sandstone area, uh, catching some light, curling up, and then it gets to here, and suddenly it's gone behind uh, this uh, driftwood, and behind this area, um, all in one fell swoop. So, you know, I'll have to fix that. I'll have to work on that. That's fine. But it looks kind of funny because if you see it from here, it's not a big deal. And if you look at that, it's not a big deal. Whoops. I've got to stop repainting. I'm not supposed to finger paint this thing. <laughs> so, you know, I'll have to make a break and, and make make it clear that this this bluff is is much closer than this uh, small cliff and, and certainly the, the hollow, the worn out hollow that's behind it. Uh, you know, I'll call it a growing pain. Part of the development. Talk to you soon, guys.